Hello, hello, and welcome. So <laughs> I recorded a video yesterday showing what sold over the three day weekend, and it was about $2,000. And I thought that video was done. And then right after I finished shipping out items, I got the biggest sale I've ever had on eBay, coming in at $3,200 for one item. And not just that, there was also another one for $2,800. Same buyer, $6,000 sale. So I'm going to show you those. Definitely something you need to know. And I'm going to show you everything else that sold. So let's go. All right, up first is a sale we just got and it is a statue. And I will tell you when I bought this, there was a ton of other Elvis stuff, but most of it I left behind because most of it was no good. So definitely check out if it is good or not if you see Elvis stuff. So this is an Elvis statue here. You can see the Elvis there on the bottom. This is actually Royal Dalton, believe it or not. This one I paid 44. It sold for $95 in under a month which is absolutely great and it's actually going to Canada. So it's going to be about a 35 to 40 dollar profit and it sold really fast. Next is this really heavy like it's legs and uh, angel wings. It does say USA there on the back. I couldn't make out what it said on the bottom but this was in my lot of Harley pins. I only paid a dollar. It has been listed less than a week and it sold for 19 1949 I dropped it luckily it's not breakable 1949 so it's going to be about a $13 profit I do always drop things next and these just sold today too a really cute little alligator salt and pepper they do not have their stoppers but they are marked Japan so these two I paid two dollars for it in a state sale they sold for $14.28 making them close to a ten dollar profit I like picking up really cute salt and pepper shakers I think if you can keyword them right they will do well these took I think about two months to sell the buyer did pay six dollars in shipping they will ship first class because they will be under a pound all right, so our ornaments are starting to get listed and some of them are selling really fast. You're going to see a few in this video. This really, really pretty one here. I did put Starburst. It's got like the inlaid Starburst. This one says Poland. It has Poland on the top. Really, really hard to see. It is written right up here. So check the tops of the ornaments to see where they are made. This one sold for $17.54. I'm less than a dollar in. It sold in under a week. It is about a $14 profit and the buyer did pay six in shipping. And then another ornament that sold in under a day. This is a really cute little butterfly and I did put butterfly. I put anthropomorphic because it's a girl in a butterfly costume and this one sold for 14 again a dollar in this one's about a ten dollar profit next is a cute little moonstone cabochon which means rounded stone it is it is marked sterling there on the back this one I paid about two dollars for it sold for 16 so it's about a twelve dollar profit and the buyer did pay five in shipping sold in about a month as well next this Harley Davidson pen which is a really cool hundredth anniversary and it has like a magnet here on the back I'm not sure what that is for this is definitely like rivets to attach to a jacket this is a pretty heavy one this one again about a dollar in it sold for 20 and under a day and it is going to be about a 15 dollar profit the harley pens have been absolutely amazing to us and i'm hoping that the license plates are going to be as well so originally if you don't know i just bought a bunch of license plates from a antique dealer and I originally thought I had 700 to 1,000. Now we're thinking it's probably closer to 2,000. And I have them from 1919 all the way to current. 
quite a few in the 30s and 40s so should be really fun to learn about those my daughter is going to start listing them i believe today or tomorrow so you should start seeing them pop up in my ebay store soon up next is some crofton stacking mugs so i paid five dollars for these at the thrift store they are from pier one you can see here these sold for $32.49 in about two months, so they took a little bit longer to sell, and they will be about a $22 profit. The buyer also paid $24 in shipping. Those mugs are pretty heavy, so we will wrap them individually and put them into a bigger box. And with those, like I said, about two months, I want all of you newer sellers to know it can take a while for this stuff to sell. I've been getting a lot of messages from people who are disappointed that they aren't selling much. I didn't start seeing regular sales, and by that I mean like one per day, until I had over 500 listings. We are actually closing in on close to 5,000 listings. So do not compare your sales to mine unless you have 5,000 listings, because you're gonna be sorely disappointed. It took years and years to get to where I'm at in my eBay store. And a lot of work so when you're new you're not going to see immediate gratification this is a long-term game so please just keep that in mind don't get discouraged just keep pushing keep listing and the sales will come next is a nike dry fit shirt and i did get this for a dollar at the thrift store it is a soccer it says brazil this one sold for 32 dollars 32 dollars for a shirt absolutely amazing over a 25 dollar profit next is a beautiful little bud vase i believe this is murano it is bulacante does have the evenly placed bubbles it has beautiful gold and silver glitter beautiful polished bottom tiny little vase and this one sold for 51.99 plus the buyer paid 12 in shipping so this one's gonna be probably about a $30 profit. I did pay over $10 for that one. Up next is a little cross stitch kit. So it's a little teddy bear with a little quilt there. It does have the little plastic frame, the cross stitch fabric and the thread. This one was my mom, so I don't really have a cost. And it sold for $6.82. It did take close to a year to sell. I do pick those kits up though. If I can find them for 50 cents, I will pick them up all day long because 50 cents and to $6 is still close to a $5 profit and all of these little sales definitely add up. And here are some more ornaments. These are really cute and you wouldn't think these would sell, right? Really cute little, they're ceramic. They were handmade, hand painted, probably from like a mold at like a craft shop they sold in under a day for ten dollars i am again less than a dollar in these are stuff from my ornament lot you're gonna see some higher dollar ones as well so keep an eye out for ornaments i love finding ornament lots because even those little cute ones will still sell for like 10 to 12 bucks all right next is something i haven't sold in a while so i want to make sure i tell you guys because this is on my big cartel site it is the nurse flipper.bigcartel.com i have them for 14 dollars free shipping this one sold on ebay for six dollars plus shipping so they actually paid 16.75 14 free shipping is the lowest i can do without losing money i actually only make a dollar for those of you on the west coast but these are really nice and if you haven't been watching me that long you haven't seen them they're really nice thick journals they have the little tassel there they come with pens they come with a ruler inside are two different little notebooks i use them for my reselling there's a dot one if you like making charts and graphs and then the other one is clean paper so i have them for 14 dollars free shipping i still have hundreds i would love if you would buy one or three and give some for gifts um, but they're really good to write down your reselling stuff they come with the really thick journal the pens the ruler all kinds of stuff so if you like them don't get them off of my ebay go to big cartel and you will get them cheaper there up next is a vintage towel spoon and it's actually a little spoon i didn't take it out because it is in the original plastic so i actually just photographed it in here it is like a little brooch or pen this one i got for pennies and it sold for 9.74 plus the buyer paid $4.70 in shipping, so that one's about a $7 profit. Next is a kitty cat ornament. This is a blown glass cat ornament. We did put Western cowboy hat 
and this one sold in hours for $35. Again, less than a dollar in. So this one is about a $25 profit. You can see the detail there on the face. I do believe this one is Di Carlini Italian glass. I had several and this really has the look of that. If I'm unsure, I will put Di Carlini in question mark and that way people know I'm not 100% positive because of the way the top of this one is. There's no marking for like saying that it was made in Italy or anything, but that was a great fast sale and a great profit. Next is one of the higher sales of the weekend. This is a Tiffany & Co ice bucket. Now let me see. It does say Tiffany & Co right there. I got this at Renninger's Antique Fair. I paid $50 for it, sold for $221. So pay up sometimes, pay up. It pays off. That one is about $130 profit. It did take about six months to sell. The buyer also paid $15.75 in shipping. These plates have been in my shed for two years. Two years, look how dirty they are. I gotta wipe them off before I ship them. They are herringbone, they are Waterford, and they took two years to sell, and they only sold for $3 a plate, but I'm glad they're gone. There's room on my shelf. The reason I listed these, A, it was two years ago, so I didn't have a ton of inventory. B, I bought them in a lot with, I bought the whole barn for $40. I will I'll place that video up there for you if you want to go see it. There were actually, I think, three videos going through the stuff. I got so much for $40. And yeah, so my cost in was really pennies. The total the buyer paid was $41.40. So it's about a $26 profit. They also paid $40 in shipping because Tetan dinner plates is probably going to weigh about 10 pounds. And because these are over 10 inch plates, they are going to have to go in a 14 by 14 inch box, which is oversized. If you don't know, anytime you get over the 12 inch by 12 inch dimensions, it costs significantly more. So it's very important if you're listing big plates or any big items to make sure that your box dimensions are pretty close to what you will use so your buyer is charged appropriately. Next, these sold in under a week. They were actually still in my cart waiting to be put into inventory. They are two cute little wood Ukrainian baskets with little wooden eggs. I got these at a garage sale, if you remember from my garage sale video I did last week. I paid $3 for a bag full of different stuff. So I'm less than a dollar in and those two sold for $15 plus the buyer paid six in shipping. So they're gonna be about a $12 profit. Next is another Harley pen. And you can see here, this is like a gas tank emblem. It says Harley Davidson. This one sold for 16. Again, I am a dollar in. So it's about a $12 profit and it's sold in under a month. If you see Harley pens, pick them up. And this one took about three to four months to sell. I'm only $5 into this. This is a BBK, really pretty brooch. I did put statement, but again, took a little longer to sell. It did sell for $40, so it's about a $30 profit, and the buyer paid five in shipping. Another Harley pen. We love the Harley pens. They're so easy to ship. Here is this one, another gas tank emblem. These sold in days after I got them up. Still going through, they're almost all posted. My daughter has listed them all, but I have to make the drafts active. So this one sold for $16.24, plus the buyer paid for in shipping. And this is a repeat buyer. So somebody is watching my store and as I am listing these new Harley pens, they're grabbing them right up. That was another $12 profit. Another gas tank emblem. Somebody likes these gas tank emblem Harley pens. This one here is another Harley pen. This one sold for $22 again in two days. I paid a dollar. If you don't remember, I bought 650 Harley pens for $600 from an online hybrid auction and they've been paying off great. So this one's about an $18 profit plus the buyer paid five in shipping. And then another really big sterling silver pendant this one's got the really pretty blue stone. It is marked Sterling. This one sold for 33. I again paid five. I got a bunch of Sterling pendants and brooches for five each. This one's about a $25 profit and it sold in about two and a half weeks. So that one sold a little faster. 
another item from my garage sale. This is the really pretty owl jewelry box, like new inside, still has a paper tag. This one sold for $32.45 in under a week. I paid, I believe, a dollar for this, and it's about a $25 profit. And then we have another Harley pin. This one has got fire. This is the Barn Shield logo. This one sold for $12.99, so it's about a $9 profit. These horses I picked up from a personal buyout, so I'm only a few dollars in. Here is one, here is two, and here is number three. So there are three of them. They took a year to sell. They sold for $36.39, so they're about a $28 profit. Only one of these was marked. So here's the marking there. And these are Seisler, Zyler, and luckily one of them was marked because the other two were not, so that way I was able to identify. Otherwise, I would not have been able to know the brand. I was hoping to get 60 to 100 for them. I just kept lowering the price and finally let them go for 36 And then we have Studio Pottery, which you know I love if you know me. This bowl is signed, could not make out the name, which is the case with most of the studio pottery. So I just put that it's signed. I paid $2 for this. It sold for $25.99. It took about three months to sell. It's about an $18 profit. Max is going out to a viewer. She saw this on my garage sale video. Miss Kathy got this for $30 plus shipping. Beautiful top. I believe she's giving it as a gift. Gift. This is SC Crystal. So Miss Kathy, thank you so much for your purchase. I know it, she is a viewer because she emailed me. If you guys buy stuff from my store, please let me know in the comments, like the message to seller when you pay, because then I will send you free nurse slipper stickers. So definitely let me know if you're making a purchase and so I can thank you on these what's old videos. Next is a little Capa di Monte. This one is really pretty. I lied, it's Royal Dalton. Most of them were Capa di Monte, but this one is the one Royal Dalton. So I got a tray of them for 20 so I'm less than $2 in. This one sold for $38.99, and it will be about a $30 profit. And then this kitty cat scarf, really, really cute. It says good kitty, kitty kitty. It's got all the different types of cats. This one I paid less than a dollar and it sold for $15.50, making it about a $13 profit. And that one took about a month to sell and the buyer did pay five in shipping. Up next is a mermaid sitting on a shelf and she sold for 14. I paid about a dollar. She's about a $10 profit. The buyer also paid 11 in shipping because she will go over a pound once packed. And I will tell you, she came out of a bathroom lot. So I love bathroom lots. I love kitchen lots. I love all lots, which brings me to the fact, do you see my mess? I have said it before. It was why I created my death pile destruction group on Facebook. I've got to stop buying. And I know I've said it and I keep saying, but I really have got to try hard because this weekend I had to give away two truckloads full of stuff to have hope of emptying my car and truck of stuff that I bought into the shed. So I'm gonna try again really, really hard. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? I'm trying to not buy. So I do have some other auction halls that are already on the way. They were smaller mailed ones, but I'm gonna try very, very hard not to buy for a little while. So I might do some extra research videos or something to fill in. I will figure it out, but I've, I've got to stop until I get a lot listed. And I'm gonna try really hard in the upcoming weeks to make myself work probably six to eight hours on listing just me, myself, not counting my listers because I have got to get some of this stuff out of here. This is another Harley pen. This one is Voodoo Mardi Gras. I'm gonna take it out because you couldn't see it through the plastic bag. So here is this one, really, really cool with the skull there does say Harley Davidson on the back. This one sold in under a week for $16.24 and it's about a $12 profit. All right, next is the last thing on eBay, but we sold a lot on the other platforms, so don't go anywhere. And I also am going to give thanks to those of you who have sent me coffees. I've not done that in a long time, so I will do that at the end of this video. This is another big sale and this is a beautiful piece. I absolutely love it. 
this is an etching and this frame is outstanding beautiful beautiful frame so this one i paid 50 for in an online auction it sold and there's the back it sold for 180 dollars and under a month so it's about a hundred dollar profit the buyer also paid 46 in shipping again make sure you get your dimensions right on those bigger items so that the buyer can be charged all right, I'm going to go ahead and break in here before I show you the other platform sales and show you the amazing sales that came in on Tuesday that are going out today on Wednesday. So today we have $6,589 going out, the biggest day on eBay I have ever had. Super exciting. So first is this vintage mouse king with the really cool cape there this ornament sold for 23 dollars and i only paid a dollar so that's going to be about an 18 dollar profit and then this is a beautiful batik peacock print this one is 98 by 41 and i paid 20 dollars for a whole box full of batik and i am way in the profit this one sold for 35 dollars and nine cents plus shipping the buyers $47.98 all in and this is about a $28 profit all right are you ready for the really big sales I'm sure that's what a lot of you came here to see so up first is this beauty here look at the sparkle so this little purse is the one that sold for $28 I paid $800 for this in an online high bid auction. There is the bottom. This is an absolutely gorgeous shape. And this is a Judith Lieber. So I actually have talked about Judith Lieber. I've sold a trinket box of hers before for about two to three hundred dollars. It was years ago. So I knew the name. So I did pay up. I paid the $800 inside here in the back it's really hard to see it does say judith lieber Hi. something else dalton says hello now here's her signature i pulled this mirror out because it's easier to see you can see the judith lieber there on the bottom and that is the signature that is on the inside of the purse as well so I paid 800 dollars. these are going to be close to 500 dollars on this so when you sell these high dollar items you gotta expect more in fees so about $500 in fees, about $800 in. So that's $1,300, but that still leaves a $1,500 profit on this gorgeous, gorgeous little purse. She does handbags, she does trinket boxes. She does a lot of stuff. So keep your eye out for Judith Lieber. And now I am going to show you the one that sold for $3,200. It was the first sale. And then I'm gonna tell you how I got the sale I just showed you. All right, this beautiful Easter egg. These are Menadier's little purses. They do have straps inside. They're tucked in here. So you can either carry this as a clutch or you could carry it as a little purse. Again, both are in immaculate condition. This one also has the little matching change purse. And this one sold for 30 200 about the same in fees but this one is almost a 1900 dollars profit so keep an eye out for tons of bling remember the name judith lieber and that was an amazing three thousand dollar profit on one sale which is absolutely incredible it's the highest one i've had so i'm going to tell you how i got the second one because when I got the offer on the first one for $3,200, I had it listed at $3,899. I knew I had $800 into it and it said repeat buyer. And so that made me think, okay, this is a valid offer. And at that point, I'm like, what else has this person bought for me? So I went and looked in my last 90 days, there was nothing, but I went and searched their username on my feedback left for others. And it turns out this buyer bought my two Tiffany ornaments back last year. And they were both, I think they were eight or $900 each. They paid, I had no issues. So I knew it was a legit buyer. 
so I was messaging with some of my friends and I'm like they bought the two Tiffany ornaments wouldn't it be cool if they bought the other Judith Lieber purse because I have the two and then I got to thinking and I'm like why am I sitting here hoping they do it why don't I message them so that is what I did. I reached out and said, thank you so much for being a repeat customer. I do have one other Judith Lieber handbag. I would be willing to accept $2,800 if you would like it as well. And I will ship them both out to you tomorrow. And I had it again, I had it listed at $3,899, but I'm only $800 in. So $2,800 is still a great price to get. And it took about an hour and then the offer came for $2,800 and I'm like, this is incredible. This is like the biggest <laughs> sale and so amazing. Both are paid for. Both are shipping out today. I am probably, I'm, I'm going to safeguard them somehow. Um, and I'm just absolutely over the moon about these sales. So I appreciate <laughs> you guys putting up with me rambling a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's sold on the other platforms. Almost $400 going out. Again, if your eBay sales are slow and you are comfortable on eBay, think about cross posting. I personally use List Perfectly. I've used them over two years. I do have a code, the Nurse Flipper, all one word, no spaces. You will get 30% off of your first month. And I would have not had these $400 in sales just over one weekend without using List Perfectly. First is this batik piece, and this one sold on Poshmark for $19. Check this out. Really, really cool. There's the top. This one sold for $19. I only paid a dollar, so it's about a $13 profit. And then this Harley pin sold on Facebook Marketplace for $19, so it's about a $15 profit. This one has no pens look no pens I did notate it I did show it this one still sold for $12 over on Facebook marketplace so it's still a $10 profit and this Acapulco gold you know pot stuff sells this one says available everywhere I'd walk a mile for here is the back and this one sold on Facebook marketplace for $25 I paid five it is about a $17 profit then clown <laughs> you know people like clowns i don't particularly like clowns but people like clowns this clown sold for 48 dollars plus shipping on facebook marketplace i paid less than five it is about a 38 dollar profit i will tell you guys if the license plates go as well as the harley pins i am going to be thrilled this is another harley pin that sold on facebook marketplace for 22 not too bad about an 18 dollar profit and then this little bird trinket box, really, really pretty. This one sold on Poshmark for $21. I paid less than a dollar, so it is about a $16 profit. This sold on Etsy for, for $68. I had it listed for $53 on eBay, sold for $68 on Etsy. So if you don't know, we do mark up all of our prices 30% per Etsy and stuff still sells. It is the slowest selling of our platforms, but I don't put the time into keywords and all of the different stuff they really want, or I think we would probably have more sales. I just don't have time for it. This little corning dish also sold on Poshmark for 12 bucks. I paid a dollar, there's the name of it. So it's about an $8 profit. And then this is an Edna Highbell. And I know that because the paper was in there. This one sold on Poshmark as well for $17. So it's about a $14 profit. And then some Ed Hardy shoes. I paid about $5. They're really cool. These sold for $64 over on Posh, making them about a $38 to $40 profit. They sold in under a month. Last is this apple. This apple is signed Simon Pierce. This apple sold on Facebook for $30. Not 
too shabby and about a $20 profit for me. So that is all the sales, $2,000. We did have an extra day, but our normal average for the weekend is a thousand. So we are, I believe our sales are up about 22% from last month, which is great. I'm going to now say thank you to those of you who have gotten me coffees. It's been a long time. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I promise I will try to keep up on the what sold videos thanking you for coffees. Now, if you don't know what buy me a coffee is, it is just a way to tip your content creators if you appreciate the content they put out. They're in $5 increments and it's not real coffee, it's just a tip. So if I wanted to get coffee, I could get coffee or I could take Dalton for ice cream, what, whatever. It's, it's money that comes to me as a tip. I will put the link to that in the comments. So the first one just says someone bought me a coffee and said thank you for all you do. So to whoever the someone is, thank you. Buy me a coffee can be a pain in the butt getting your name in. I have sent people coffees and my name never goes through. And then Miss Janice bought me three coffees and said your videos have taught me so much. Thank you, Miss Janice. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And then Cindy S bought me three coffees and said thank you for all your help and info as always, Kat. I want to be as successful as you when I grow up. Cindy, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith that you can do it. Thank you so much for the coffees. <laughs> Teresa Oh, bought me coffee. I love every one of your videos. You are such a caring and giving person and teach us all so much. Thank you. I have one on me. Teresa, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And then Karen L bought me two coffees and said, thanks for all the videos on teacups and Instapack. I was afraid of breakables, but today I found a Paragon cup and saucer that comps for $500 to $1,000. Karen, that is absolutely amazing. And she said a coffee for me and a hot chocolate for Dalton. Dalton does love hot chocolate and he loves it with marshmallows. And then Tina K bought me a coffee and said, I love seeing vintage. I am glad you can be home with your adorable kiddo who you guys will see here in a minute. He'll tell you bye. You do not look old enough to have adult children. I in fact do. Dalton was a start over. I do have a 23 year old boy who is married no children. I don't have grandchildren yet. And then I also have a 20 year old girl who is at home listing for me. She still is taking summer college courses, but they're all online. So she is at home with us every day for the summer. And then Lisa S bought me a coffee and said, I have been learning so much from you and your channel. Love, love. Thank you. Thank you. I used to work in dialysis for 10 years, which was really the low end of the medical totem pole. So happy to get away from those 12 hour shifts. Been reselling since mid pandemic, but I'm not anywhere near where I want to be. I'm working on it though. Thanks again. Enjoy the coffee. I am planning on joining your flipper family soon. Thank you, Lisa. I greatly appreciate it. And we hope to see you in the member chat soon. I have member live shipping today. So all of this stuff you got me, you saw me show you will be packing live for the members. So hit the join button below any video, sometimes only visible on the computer. And I'll tell you about the levels of membership you can join. You get some extra perks and it helps support the channel. And then Sherry bought me a coffee and said thank you for all the education been watching you for a while as well as some others and I always come back to you I appreciate your info and attitude towards selling on eBay it's not always easy but you just have to roll with the punches that is very very true it's just a side hustle for me but I hope to do more when I retire I can't wait for free time to thrift I have found some amazing things Sherry thank you so much I greatly appreciate it all right, that is going back over the last month. So to those of you hanging out in the premiere, hi. Thank you for hanging out and chatting with me. I'm gonna let Dalton tell you goodbye. He's eating a lollipop. Hopefully he doesn't get his lollipop in my hair. Hi. Tell him happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Look at him, say have a good week. <laughs> bye guys. Come bye.